been running around all morning. It's time to settle down. Just be here with the breath coming in going out. There's nothing else you have to do. Let the breath surround you. Let the breath heal you. The breath is medicine for the mind. Mindfulness and alertness are medicine for the mind if you use them correctly. If you don't use them correctly, they can do a lot of harm. You can be keeping all kinds of weird things in mind and be keeping all kinds of harmful things. Keeping focused on harmful things. But if you put them on something good, with a good purpose, okay, then it becomes healing for you. So the purpose here is to get the mind to settle down so it can understand itself. Why does it keep doing things that part of it knows are wrong? What's the other part all about? We have to see this clearly. And the only way you're going to see it clearly for yourself is if you get as quiet as you can. And also get the mind in a much better mood. This is a part of what the healing process of the breath is. The mind is going to go is not going to open up if it's feeling threatened. But if it's feeling at ease, if it's been feeling soothed, it's a lot easier for it to open up with itself and say, Oh yeah, this is what I thought, and this is what I thought here, this is what I thought there. This is why I'm doing this. And you can sort things out a lot more clearly that way. Because all too often the really powerful thoughts in the minds are the ones that hide behind the shadows. And the reason they have power is because you can't see them clearly. They seem to be a lot bigger than they are. And they seem to not want to listen to reason. But it turns out all your thoughts have their reasons. And so you want to let, hear them clearly. So you create a good space for them to open up. This is what we do as we stay with the breath. Get the mind soothed, get the body soothed, and you'll see things that you didn't see before. And you understand what was going on in the mind. And when you understand it, you're in a much better position. But the first step is just to get the mind to settle down and just be here and feel comfortable here. Without this, you're not going to see anything at all. You just see blurs. And the blur can be anything. And then from a blur, you can create all kinds of monsters. But when you see it clearly, you say, oh, it's just this, it's just that. Sort things out and things open up inside.